day. It's Akayani. Welcome back to my channel, The Living Connection with Akayani Chamberlain. The last time you saw me, I was in Arizona at the Superstition Ranch Market checking out the possibility for local produce. As you know, fresh fruit and vegetables is something that's really important for your health and something that you really need to incorporate on a daily basis. And I apologize that uh, I wasn't able to give you a more intimate look at the ranch market, but I'm sure that opportunity is going to arise more frequently and a lot of wonderful going on uh, you know, in and around Arizona because I've got big news for you today as well as a little book review. I am moving to Arizona and I will be leaving uh, the New York area um, later on this fall. So I should be out there um, before Thanksgiving maybe sooner, but before Thanksgiving 2015. And the reason why I am doing so is that I feel that it's really important to get the message out about health. And as you know, my grandfather, Bernardo Lapalo, has got a new book out. It's called Beyond 100, How to Live Well into Your Second Century. It is available through his website, agelesslivemorestore.com. Uh, basically, it's being distributed through lulu.com, and it is currently available uh, as an ebook. And because so many of you asked, in print version, in English and in Portuguese, a lot of Portuguese. Um, so I edited um, this version of the book. If you look in the beginning of the book. You'll see that there's an editor's note, and you'll see my name at the bottom of that, uh, because so many of you asked for it in print. Um, it is, it's gorgeous. Um, we updated some of the information, because a lot of people have uh, questions concerning cow's milk, so we did that. Uh, also, a lot of beautiful color photographs in here, just to make it hit home. Like, for example, if you can see this one on cantaloupe. Bernardo's a big fan of cantaloupe. Uh, and also it's to be understood that when Bernardo is talking about foods, he's really talking about foods in their pure state. Of course, when he was growing up, he just turned 114, there was no such thing as, you know, organic or GMOs or any of these things because everything was grown um, you know, closer to the land, closer to the soil, not the way it is today. So when we are making, um, you know, claims or making suggestions, he's making suggestions in this book, please remember that it's really based on, um, you know, non-tampered with food supply. And we encourage you to find out, uh, seek and support those people that are producing foods in that manner because after all, ladies and gentlemen, you are what you eat. So just kind of a quick review of this book. Um, there is a lot of confusion um, about controlling your lifestyle. You know, how much of your health is determined by genetics and how much of it is uh, determined by, you know, nurture. Now, while it's true that we cannot necessarily, how shall I say, choose or change the family that we were born in, and everyone has a predisposition, myself included, to certain, um, you know, weaknesses or ailments, the message that Bernardo is really trying to get across here is change your genes, take control of your lifestyle. 80% of, you know, of how you feel and your, you know, your weight and all these different things comes right down to something that we do every single day, and that's what we put in our mouth, what we choose to eat and what we choose to drink. It's extremely, extremely important. So in the past, um, I may have drawn your attention to Dr. Lad McNamara, who was an OBGYN, uh, and also has written a lot of medical texts and has been a, a very strong advocate for women's health. And the point that he makes, uh, which I want to bring out to support the point that Bernardo is making, 
or any leading edge uh, doctor or holistic practitioner is that the health of the mother is extremely important in determining uh, what is being passed down genetically through the family. So, for example, when you take my Truth Health assessment at ekayani.isana.com, it's a 15-minute questionnaire, and there is a question that pops in there about your genetic history, if there's been a predisposition to um, heart disease or cancer or whatever it may be, with the understanding that by changing your habits, by increasing your uh, you know, nutrition exponentially, that that is going to help change the outcome. Now, yes, there's always an exception to the rule. You know, someone may have that destiny where they may not be able to change uh, their current position. But for the majority of us, it's really a matter of choice and it's a matter of lifestyle. I want to share that while I was with Bernando uh, for the past month, uh, and particularly two weeks of that month, I had an opportunity to observe people that who had not taken care of their health, people who find themselves in a nursing home situation. So I want to bring that out because this whole kind of American philosophy of playing Russian roulette with your health, meaning drink whatever you want, smoke whatever you want, in whatever quantity you want, with no um, heed paid to the needs of your body, and then just take a pill. Just take a pill at the end of that, and that will fix everything. I'm sure you've seen those advertisements for digestion, right? Burning, heartburn, just take a pill. But I can tell you that I've seen it with my own eyes, and I'm sure that many, 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 many of you have parents or have grandparents in the same situation that end up in the very unfortunate situation of being in a nursing home where they can no longer feed themselves, they can't walk, they can't remember, uh, you know, they can't remember you, uh, they can't do so many things because they didn't make health a priority. They didn't make health a priority and they always put someone else or something else or they were going to do it later or it didn't really matter and now they find themselves in a very unfortunate situation uh, because a human being really wants their independence, right? So I can tell you that my grandfather, he still, he irons his own clothes, he walks, uh, you know, he can have a conversation with you, he is sharp, uh, he's a sharp dresser. He still goes out and makes lectures on health and longevity. Um, don't you want that for yourself? So I highly recommend that you get this book. Um, get it for your loved ones. Get it for yourself. Share it. Read it. And try and implement, even if you just implement one thing, one thing out of this book. Bernando shares his daily regimen on sleeping, on how he feels about water, how he prepares his water. There's also some great recipes in this book because so many of you asked over and over again that I, I, uh, I listened. Uh, so for example, the health salad, the cabbage salad that some of you have enjoyed with me. There's a recipe for that in here. There's a recipe for cinnamon tea in here. There is, of course, a recipe for his famous smoothies with Dr. Schultz, how to make it taste good. There's a recipe for that in here. Um, so many tips, so many treasures, and again, uh, you know, really beautiful illustrations. You know, what about salt? Um, so this kind of serves as my, my book review. I'll have some other videos coming up for you about some, also some exciting new products that USANA uh, has come out with, uh, supplying macronutrients and the use of coconut oil. But I just wanted to, I, I promised that I would let you know when Beyond 100 was coming out. Uh, also, look out for some special events that I'm going to post. They're going to be a little bit more Arizona-centric. Fernando has got a speaking engagement September 19th at Brazil Day, Arizona in Scottsdale, downtown Scottsdale. He'll be there in the afternoon from 1.30 to 3.30 doing a book signing. 
uh, and that's it for now. So stay tuned and do take care of your health and remember that you have a lot of control over how you feel. Until then, I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye now.